What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the House Show. So for today, we will be discussing about why does this development has more units than this development. Uh, have you ever thought of this question? Then, if you have ever think of this particular question, remember to watch this entire video. Why does certain developer, when they develop on this piece of land, the number of units that has been built on this land is actually quite less compared to others. What is the main reason behind it? Then why some developers can actually build a lot of units on this particular piece of land? In fact, the developers is actually built on the plot ratio that has been approved by the local authorities. So in if it's under different authorities, then the plot ratio number would actually varies. Let's talk about density ratio in the first place. The same thing applies as well. Different authorities, different ratio. So what is actually a density ratio? Density ratio is actually something like if today I were to build on this particular piece of land and I only can build a maximum number of uh, units on this piece of land. Say the authorities gave me a maximum of 100 units, right? I can choose to build 50 units of uh, 500 square feet and another 50 units of 1000 square feet or I can choose to build 2000 square feet for the entire development which is 100 units what the authorities gave us it, for this particular piece of land it's the maximum numbers of units that is allowed to be built on this piece of land that is what we call it as a density ratio while for service apartments it's actually quite different from uh, the so-called condominiums it's based on this plot ratio instead of density ratio the plot ratio determined by the local authority as well so say if it's a 1 to 10 ratio so on this one acres of land the floor area that the developer can build is 440 square feet while the plot ratio is actually determined by the local authority as well so say today i were to build on this one acres of land one acres equals to approximately forty-four thousand square feet so the plot ratio that the local authority gave me is a one to ten ratio so i can actually build four hundred and forty thousand square feet the authorities actually don't limit the number of units that I can build what the authorities limit me as a developer it's the total number of uh, gross floor area so for this 440 square feet if I were to build units with 440 square feet right I can build 1000 units in that one acre piece of land if the piece of land gets bigger and the plot ratio still remains the same then yeah the the gross floor area that i can build is actually more then this plot ratio thing normally applies to these uh, service apartments only so whereby commercial shop lots is attached and then yeah then most of the time the density wise is actually higher compared to condominiums and then most of the time this service apartment offers different kinds of layouts for buyers to pick density ratio and plot ratio actually determines how many units this particular developer can build on this particular land if this developer actually wants to build a condo on this piece of land then the local authorities will actually approve a certain amount of density ratio to them and then by then the developers will need to follow the density ratio that has been given by the authorities to build on this particular piece of land if the numbers of units gets more that means your you have more neighbors in the future lah. i think there is another thing called height restriction huh, height restriction so if it's actually somewhere near the airport nearby the airport you actually can build like the developers actually can't build a building which is too tall 
because that will actually affect the plane or whatsoever. If this particular were to develop in a nearby airport, then the height restriction for the building is actually lower. So it wouldn't cause any troubles in the future. Lah. So yeah, I know it's kind of short for this episode, but yeah, I guess that's all for this episode. If you have learned something from this video, remember to hit that like button and even subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions regarding real estate, you can actually reach me at any of the links below. This is James Lau here. Thank you for watching until the very end and hopefully to see you in the next one again.